Today we're opening an epic product that I've never opened before. Legendary Collection 5Ds. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video with the Legendary Collection 5Ds. And we're not only opening this, we are pitting it against one of the best Legendary Collections. Legendary Collection Kaiba. So we're gonna have not one, but two Legendary Collections open today. <laughs> This is gonna be pretty intense because I've never opened Legendary Collection 5Ds, but every time I find a card from Legendary Collection 5Ds, it's worth money. So it seems like every card in here has value. And the same thing with Kaiba. Every single card in there turns out to have value. But before we hop into that, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. Here's a first edition Banister of Light from Magic Ruler. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Which one will win? Let me know in the comments, Kaiba or 5Ds? I don't know what to pick because I've never opened this and I know this is super strong when it comes to these battles. Let's go ahead and get started with the Kaiba because this is the one that we have opened before. So we're going to save the suspense for 5Ds last. But I also know that this is an incredible product with the, of course, the Ash Blossom, the Droll and Lockbird, the Secret Rare Blue Eye stuff. Just a lot of really valuable cards that we can potentially pull in here that I'm pretty excited about. So there's five, to no, there's three, only three total packs in here. There's not five. I don't know how it works in Legendary Collection 5Ds. If it's only three, we're not going to have a lot of packs today, but a lot of valuable cards potentially so first we have the promos that you have seen many times so we're just gonna move right past that and move on to legendary collection kaiba this is our third time oh, oh these are first edition okay i got these at a good price i i feel like people might not know the difference sometimes which i'm about to show you guys the difference and how to tell the difference between legendary collection kaiba and first edition and not it's a lot harder than you might expect oh we just got a spoiler there we're just gonna move this other secret to the back so we got a dark arm dragon right there which i spoiled secret rare raigeki that's a very nice card Virus Gain. First edition actually makes a difference on these cards, which is pretty cool. Doom Virus Dragon back at it again. He always shows up in these openings. Crush Card Virus. Kaiba's a big virus guy. It's kind of sketchy. Epidemic Virus. There it is. La Jin. I like this original artwork better than the alternate artwork. What do you guys think? So La Jin, Mystical Genie of the Lamp, the original from SDK. I really like that one. Sage with Eyes of Blue. This is a money card. This is a nice blue eyes card. I think it's in most of their decks. Secret Rare. Cost Down. This is not a money card. Secret Rare. This used to be I think an ultra and dark crisis originally so that's cool and a d fusion so it looks like we got one big card there and a couple of other decent cards in the first pack okay let me show you guys the hack real quick so the way you know see so you can look at the front you're like well it doesn't say first edition anywhere so it's not first edition right not true the way you check is you check the back and you look at the mini image of the packs see how it says first edition right there that means these are first edition packs it's very strange like that's the way you have to look at the small packs on the back if these were unlimited it would have unlimited inside it's pretty crazy because this was like the same price as the unlimited it's kind of weird like i think i just got lucky i didn't even check when i bought this i just assumed that the first edition would cost more but apparently maybe not so maybe i should be buying these a little bit more mausoleum of the white very nice we got the Y dragon head the tyrant wing Rider of the Storm wins. I think we got this last time. I don't really remember this card ever. This is like be its only print, to be honest. Mirror Force again. Always nice to see that one, even though it's been printed a lot. Cloning. Okay. Loop of Destruction. What is this? It's like Ring of Destruction's like weird cousin or something. All right. Return of the Dragon Lords. Here's another really good secret rare, especially first edition. That's going to be a, probably a $10 card, I would guess. Sea Crush Wyvern, that's another good secret. Well, it's not good, but it's cool. And another Deep Fusion. Okay, we ended on Deep Fusion twice. So one big card in there, the rest was kind of eh. And the final pack of Legendary Collection Kaiba. Before we get into that Legendary Collection 5 Ds, which I'm pretty excited about, let's see if we can pull something crazy. Can we get Ash Blossom? It's only an Ultra Rare, so it'd be in these first few cards. We got the Virus, we got the Virus yet again. The Mirror Forest Dragon, again uh eradicator epidemic virus x head cannon i think wait no one more ultra Ooh, the blue eyes twin burst dragon this is a good card okay the twin burst is pretty nice terraforming that's a nice secret rare as well this is the one where it's not in space it seems like it's only oh it is in space you can see it a little bit right there but it's very difficult to see polymerization see this is a big one I don't know if the reprint from the GX uh, speed duel boxes have hurt this. Probably did, but this was 15 bucks when we pulled it before. 
Neutron Blast, okay, and number S39 Utopia. This was probably worth money before. I think he got reprinted in an OTS or something. I can't remember. No, Battles of Legend Armageddon. That's what it was. That was a pretty solid legendary collection. It wasn't incredible. We didn't pull like Ash Blossom or something. So now it's time. Okay, let's check out the back. I think I checked these actually. These say these are first edition. There might not even be unlimited of this because I don't think it ever got a rewave. So this one could be pretty cool. What do you even get in here? You get five legendary collection packs. Okay, so it's five. We got double-sided game board. All right, yet again, nine cards from the 5Ds era, one secret, one ultra, one super, one rare per pack, and 250 cards to collect. Okay, let's get into this. Let's open this thing up. I've never opened one of these ever. Literally never. I've been doing this for so long. We've been opening so many different products. Somehow I've always forgotten to buy this. I like, I see it and I'm like, I need to open that and I just don't open it. So let's see what we can get. I don't know what the, is in the promo pack, so we're actually gonna open that this time. Can we get our five packs? And because this is the first time, we will look at the mat. So it is one of these solid mats. How do you guys feel about these? I don't really love them. They're just, I don't know, they're, they're too solid. You know, you can't roll them up or anything. So there's an Odin. There's a, that's a, the, it's just the Nordic Gods, right? The Nordic Gods. And then the back just says Legendary Collection 5Ds and has all these dudes on it. Okay, cool. By all these dudes, I mean the characters from 5D. So let's open this up and see what we get inside this promo pack. If anything is decent. I'm not going to know really what's valuable here. We're just going to have a pop up on the screen. Fenrir. Stardust Flash. Black Rose is in here. That's pretty cool. And shooting Quasar Dragon. This is on the front, so it makes sense that that's in there. On to our five Legendary Collection 5D packs. Okay, so those uh, show right there, right at the front. We have Resonator Destruction. Blackwing Fane, Steel Chain. I already like this. This is a good start. Offerings to the Immortals. The Black Back. Blackwing Kalima the Haze. Nordic Relic Brisingamon. Fallen Angel of Roses. See, I don't even recognize a lot of these cards. There's a lot of 5D stuff. Uh, TG Cyber Magician is our secret rare. Is that a secret? Wait, I can barely see the secret rare. There it is. Okay. It's like not really on the main guy himself. And a Cephalon, the ultimate time. Wait, where's our rare? Oh, that, that was it right there. Okay, I have no idea what is good there. Pack number two. I don't know if we pulled anything good or not because I just don't recognize what is good in this set, but I know a lot of stuff is good from this set, so hopefully we will pull something awesome. Avenging Knight Parshath. Savage Coliseum. TGSX1. The Goddard Amaro. Blackback. Strong Wind Dragon. Okay, I think this guy was originally like an ultra or a secret in one of the sets. Blackwing Blizzard, the Far North. That's probably a nice printing of this. I don't know if this ever got a higher rarity than this card. That's nice. TG1EM1. That's like the Snatch deal, right? Yeah, you switch them though. Okay. And Earthbound Immortal, Kusalu. Okay, okay. Some decent cards. We'll, we'll have the prices pop up. I don't know how to react to a lot of these. You know, I don't know if they're really good or not. I don't recognize any of these from cards that I've had before. Thorn of Malice, uh, at least this version. We got the Dark Resonator. Blackwing Boreas the Sharp. He's sharp. Red Dragon Vase. Magic Planter. That's a Duel Links card. Okay. Ultra rare. Oh, and the sheep has a secret rare in here? What in the world? Secret rare sheep. Okay. And another Cephalon, the ultimate Time Lord, and a Blackwing Etesion of the Two Swords. Two packs to go. I don't know how we're doing, to be honest. I, like, I feel like we're doing maybe okay. But nothing that I'm like, wow, this has to be worth money out of here. Okay, Roar of the Earthbound. The Sonic Chick made it in here. All right. Graceful Revival. The Turbo Warrior has a common printing. Interesting. Mechlorn Armory of Wazel. Fallen Angel of Roses again in the Ultra Slot. I hope that's good. I hope it is. Oh, and the Gold Facts. So they gave the sheep and the horse a secret rare. That's interesting for sure. And the Chaos Infinity. That is some creepy artwork. That's kind of cool. The infinity is like his eyeballs. Very interesting. And the uh, Garmer of the Nordic Beasts. Final pack of the opening. This has been interesting. I I'm not too excited about the 5Ds, to be honest, so far. Like, I think Legendary Collection Kaiba is more fun. Uh, but we'll see if we pull something good. Because we're not really pulling anything that's like... Okay, there's a, there's a classic card. I was going to say classic. And there's a classic power tool common, which is interesting. I didn't know how to do common printing. Savage Coliseum. Okay. The Kochi the Daybreak. Dark Verger, that is a creepy card. Imagine seeing this plant, like you're just walking around in the forest. And why would you be walking around the forest? I don't know. But if you are, a couple of eyeballs, creepy. Black Return. Rose Tentacles. 
That's, yeah, that's another, these are just creepy cards. Black wing, armed wing. Okay, I think that's a decent card. An armed wing ultra rare. I don't know if it got this high rarity at this point. It was a super rare originally, I believe. And secret rare, what will it be? Tuning wear. What in the world is this? Tuning wear. It's a dude with a pot on his head. And an Earthbound Immortal. The Earthbound Immortals might be worth something in Super. What a strange opening. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Undersai Show, JT Cho, and Animal of the Hallow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.